Hello everyone back again in the optimal movie, the film begins at a Wittendale University, when a doctor and his students are doing a practice to find out about the cause of death of a patient. A female student named Zoe told the doctor the cause of death was due to influenza. The doctor said Zoe's answer was almost correct and the doctor said the cause of death was due to damage and malfunction of oxygen in the air sacs. After they practice, Zoe's friend Abby joins a party held by her college friend, but Zoe, who doesn't like Zoe's crowd, says she doesn't go to the party. And Zoe decided to learn to analyze the cause of death of the man. While Zoe was doing her job, Zoe was asked by the doctor to draw blood from a man who had very high antibodies. And Zoe went to draw the man's blood, and the man named Max. Max often gave his blood to them, and because Max often came and met Zoe, Max became in love with Zoe. But Zoe did not love Max. Max then proved his love by showing a scratch on his arm that read Zoe's name. And at that time, Max teased Zoe a little so that it made Zoe uncomfortable, and a few moments later Abby came and saw Max behaving inappropriately towards Zoe. Abby then kicked Max out of the room. And after that Zoe decided to go to a party with Abby, and while there Zoe helped Abby's boyfriend to get two barrels of beer at the morgue, because there was a cooler in that room. While in the morgue, Zoe was confused with Abby's boyfriend who pretended to be an undead, and Zoe was shocked to make Zoe upset. And after that Abby's boyfriend left the room carrying his beer keg, and when Zoe wanted to get out of the room, suddenly Max came and came up to Zoe, making Zoe scared. Max then did something inappropriate to Zoe, and when Max did that, suddenly from behind a zombie appeared that immediately bit Max's neck. Seeing this, Zoe ran to the party, and Zoe told her friends there to leave. And soon their doctor had turned into a zombie, and immediately the party was chaotic with the bites of the zombies there. Zoe then climbed up to go up to the window of the room, and Zoe managed to climb to the window. But when Zoe wanted to help Abby, Abby was pulled by the zombie doctor so that Zoe was bitten by the zombies there. Five years later, the zombie virus outbreak that occurred has caused an international emergency. Zoe and several survivors are now living in a refugee camp called the High Rock Bunker. And in that camp they lived with the military who served at the military reconnaissance and observation station to collect data on the zombies, and also looked for vaccines for the zombie outbreak that occurred. In that camp they were led by a military commander named Miguel. Zoe, who is now a doctor in the bunker, at that time Zoe was researching blood samples from zombies with her friend named Elise. While they were focusing on work, a mother named Wendy came to tell Zoe that her son had a high fever, and that Zoe's medicine did not work for her son. Zoe then met Wendy's child named Lily, and when examined Lily had pneumonia bacterial. And after Zoe checked Lily, Zoe then met Miguel who was in a meeting at that time, and Zoe told Miguel that Lily is currently in isolation because she has pneumonia and if left unchecked it will cause pneumonia transmission in the bunker. And Zoe also tells Miguel that currently the stock of drugs in the bunker has run low. Lily then suggests that they take stock of drugs at her old university which is in a secret room. Miguel also gave permission to Zoe and six of his troops to escort Zoe to take medicine. And while they were on the way their car's radiator was damaged, so it had to be confirmed by Lucy first. Until the evening Lucy hadn't finished with the radiator, and after a while there was the sound of zombies approaching, and sure enough the zombies came, and fortunately Lucy managed to justify the radiator, and when they managed to start the car and were about to leave, the zombies came over. Sin moved to Wittendale University, they then went to the medicine room, and when they arrived in the room, they immediately took the drugs they were looking for. After they got the medicine they were looking for, they rushed to get out of the university, but Zoe passed by his study and unbeknownst to his colleague who was on the way out. And in the room Zoe took a childhood photo with her parents, and there Zoe also took some drugs. And when Zoe took the medicine there, Max suddenly appeared and Max then chased Zoe. Zoe then ran and immediately shot at the door so that the sound from the gun provoked the zombies out and chased them. Just then Zoe's hairband dropped, and Max got the hairband and smelled the fragrance. Meanwhile, Zoe meets another colleague, when they are about to leave the zombies are chasing them, and Zoe's colleague named Frank does not survive and is bitten by the zombies, and they decided to leave Frank and return to the refugee camp. When they arrived back at the refugee camp, Max was unwittingly under the car following them to the camp. Max then hides behind a bush, and Max sees a military passing by and Max then bites the soldier. And after that Max entered the refugee camp and Max decided to go up on the air distillation. 
Meanwhile, Zoe, after successfully getting medicine for Lily, Zoe then gave it to Lily and Wendy thanked Zoe for bringing medicine to Lily. Sin moved in Zoe's room, at that time Zoe was looking at photos of her memories with her mother and immediately Zoe was sad to see pictures of herself with her mother. A few moments later Max who was in the air distillation from the hole there, Max saw Zoe with a man who had accompanied her to take medicine and the man named Baca, and Red was Zoe's lover and there Max saw them hugging so it made Max angry. Sin moves in to a man named Steve. Steve is a janitor at the refugee camp, and at that time Steve hears a noise from above the air distillation, Stave who thinks the sound is a rat, Stave then goes up to catch the mouse, and when Stave is on top of the air distillation Stave is surprised to see Max and immediately Steve is bitten by Max. Meanwhile, Wendy, who is Stave's wife, Wendy came to Stave's room and how shocked Wendy was to see that Stave had died unnaturally. Wendy then ran to find help, but Wendy was blocked by Max, and Max then pulled Wendy into a room. Meanwhile, Zoe goes to Lily to check Lily's condition and Lily is a little bit tired from her illness. Zoe then advises Lily to rest and after that Zoe leaves Lily's room. When Zoe was about to return to her room, from behind Max appeared, making Zoe frightened and Zoe turned on a warning alarm indicating that there was an intruder. Miguel who heard the alarm. Miguel then told his men to come to the medical department immediately. Meanwhile, Max tells Zoe the scratch on his hand, and when Zoe sees it, Zoe just remembers that the zombie in front of him is Max. And moments later Baca, Alphonse and Lucy approach Zoe, and at that time they wanted to kill Max, but Zoe didn't want Max to be killed, because Zoe would make Max his research material in order to get the zombie virus vaccine. The next day, Zoe did her research assisted by Elise and at that time Zoe would carefully take a sample from Max's blood, and when approached Max just stayed silent while looking at Zoe. Moments later, Baca arrives and there Zoe tells Baca he still needs blood samples from some of the surviving zombies to compare with Max's blood samples. And the Baca also accepted Zoe's request, they would take a sample of zombie blood at the perimeter gate later in the evening. At night and assisted by several colleagues, they also took blood samples from several zombies, and because there were quite a lot of zombies their alpons could not hold the fence, so it made the zombies enter crowded with people, and when they were about to leave Elise's hand was bitten by a zombie and also a colleague was bitten by a zombie to death. Meanwhile, Miguel approaches Max and there Miguel sees a scratch on Max's hand that says Zoe's name, and Miguel at that time thinks that Zoe is grouping with Max about this zombie virus. And not long after Miguel got news of the zombies breaking through the perimeter gate, Miguel then went there and at that time Miguel was angry because he let the zombies into the perimeter gate, and there Miguel also saw the Elise hand that was bitten by the zombie, and Miguel who didn't want the Elise to turn into a zombie and make a mess in the refugee camp, Miguel then kills Elise. The next day Zoe continued her research, and at that time Lucy and Alpons approached Zoe to give her coffee, and there Lucy approached Max and at that time Max then strangled Lucy so that Alpons helped Lucy. And when Alpons took Max's hand, Max slowly took the key from Alpons's pocket, after which Alpons and Lucy left the room. After they left, Zoe continued her research, and when Zoe was serious about her research, Max called Zoe's name, making Zoe angry with Max. And a few moments later Max managed to untie him, and Max then strangled Zoe. Zoe immediately doused Max's face with alcohol and Zoe managed to escape from Max. And moments later, an alarm sounded signaling a warning for everyone in the camp to gather somewhere. Meanwhile, Lily who was about to head to the gathering point, Lily met Wendy, and at that time Wendy had turned into a zombie, making Lily sk and at that time Lily was also going to be bitten by Wendy, but Max came and immediately broke Wendy's neck. And Lily was taken by Max and met Zoe. There Zoe asked Max to release Lily, but at that time Max didn't want to let Lily go. Zoe then released the gun so Max also wanted to release Lily. And when the gun was released, Max then took Zoe out of the refugee camp and opened the door there, making the zombies all enter the refugee camp. And immediately there was a riot in the refugee camp because the hungry zombies ate everyone in the refugee camp. Meanwhile, Miguel and Baca fight because Miguel closed the door to the refugee camp, and because Zoe is outside Baja is angry with Miguel. When they were fighting, suddenly from behind Miguel was bitten by zombies to death, while Baca was also bitten but did not die. Baca then opened the door and went out to look for Zoe. Outside Zoe meets Lily and there they hide in the garden of plants, 
and as they hide Max sees them and Max Poo enter the garden. And when inside Max did not meet Zoe, and a few moments later from below Zoe appeared and then killed Max. After that, Zoe met Baka and Baka would shoot herself because she had been infected with the zombie virus, but at that time Zoe forbade it because Zoe had finished making an anti-zombie vaccine and Zoe would try the vaccine to Baka. The next day Zoe tried the vaccine, and it turned out that the vaccine was successful so Zoe reported everyone via telephone radio to come to the Hing Rock refugee camp, because now an anti-zombie vaccine has been found. And they also lived peacefully without interruption Max and the zombies again and the movie was over, and thank you for watching this video, don't forget to press the like button, and subscribe on this channel see you in the next video.